Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. So today I'm going to try out Lord of the Rings Online in 2020. I have been playing this game since I think 2011 or 2012. Um, of course I haven't been playing this game like non-stop. I have of course have, have a very long break from it because the game is probably maybe a bit, some people will say, is a bit outdated. Um, but I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan so I wanted to give this game a little chance again so why not so let's try again north rings online and see how it is in 2020 the first thing i went into was the character customization where you can see i can choose between the man high elf dwarf stout axe <laughs> hobbit elf and Beonung. So as you can see, we have a lot of different races we can choose between. And of course, we also have the female versions. As you can see, the High Elf and the Stout Axes and Bayoning, they actually cost money at the moment. Uh, so you have like to unlock them. I think some of the expansions actually also unlock them, but you can also buy them separated. Then back to the classes, we have first the Bayoning. That's this guy here. It's like if you have seen the movie The Hobbit with the Bayoning, the, the guy, the very tall guy who can actually transfer into himself into a bear. This is the guy you can actually play. So you can play this damage slash support role where you can, yeah, basically transform you into a bear or you could be like a very brute guy. You also have the burglar who's, uh, well, it says the role is support, but it looks a bit like a roguelike class. We have the captain who's also support. And I know he has, a, he's like a, this, Paladin-ish guy who has a two-hand weapon and then he also have healing spells and can use a lot of buffs. I, I used to main this guy in old days. Champion is a damage dealer with dual wield. Guardian is a purely tank with yeah standard tank stuff. Then we have the hunter, basically hunter. Uh, I'm not sure if they actually have pets. Uh, doesn't say anything about pets. I can't remember if they actually have pets. It doesn't say anything about pets. Then we have the Lawmaster, who is also uh, that will. It says support, but he can he can deal damage and do some small healing. I'm pretty sure. I think Lawmaster is the guy who can actually summon uh, pets like a raven or a bear. Then we have Ministro. He's a healer, and uh, as you can see, he has sword sealed, and he actually also have, uh, what's that now called? You know, yeah, that guitar thing. Well, basically, you can call him a bard. So if you like, if you're really a Witcher fan and you want to be the bard who goes around and play music, you can basically be this guy. You can also play music in this game um, with a lute. Yeah, isn't it called lute? I think. Then we have the rule keeper, but it requires that you actually play. I think it's yeah, you have to be a for example an elf. Uh, and rule keeper is a damage and a heal, and it's a class that you have to either unlock through an expansion or actually buy. There's also the warden, who is the number two tank in the game, and he also needs to be well unlocked through expansions or buying separately. So I think I'm going for. Um, and the dwarf, and I think I will go for the minstrel. So I think I'm going to be a little loot playing dwarf. Okay, I'm going to call him Dwalin. It will 100% be taken because Dwalin is actually a name from the Hobbit movie. Well, it's one of the dwarfs, well, also books. Uh, I don't really want to change anything on his... Oh, so we can choose where he actually comes from. Okay. I think I'm just going with the basic. I just think I will change the hair color and stuff like that. I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with this great character. That name is Tegan, of course. What about Dwalin with two N's? Ok, 
Okay, this one can be taken. Dwell and DK. There we go. And I have my very handsome dwarf. Let's enter Middle Eight, Middle Earth. Okay, so I can see we are starting in in front of Foreign's Gate, and we have Foreign's Hall here, and we are in. Well, basically, it's called Foreign's Gate. Where in the world are we? Whoosh. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. That's like, I love it, but still this map, I'm not like 100% sure. For, for example, I'm, I'm not 100% sure where it's actually Florence in this location. Is that Dunland? No. No, oh, that looks cool. Isengard. I want to go to Isengard. Are we up here in... Where are we actually? There we are. We are in Erid Luin, where Foreign's Hall is. Okay, that's cool. So I already have a lot of spells, even though I'm only level one. My first tag is raise my spirit. And he plays some music and quickly heals morale. Okay, so Mora, I guess that's what they call HP. Oh, okay, so they don't call it health or anything, it's just Mora. Okay, so I have my spell here where I can heal 5 to 7. That's fine. I'll, I'll just stick it over here. Then I have a attack one. Then I have another attack. Another attack. And then I have a stance. Oh, okay, so this stance here, your characteristic speech drives fear into the heart of enemies. Oh, okay, so when I'm in this stance here, all my healings are only only going to me, so I can heal other, but I get if, okay, 25% more damage, and I can only heal myself. This one... 12% more damage, and all my healings are now 5% better. So now I can actually heal other people. Well, I can't heal this guy, he's an NPC. Okay, that, that's pretty cool that I have like a... I have like a DPS stance and a healing stance. Okay, I have another stance here also. How many stands do I need? 10% outgoing healing modifier. Oh. So this one is like a damage and healing. This one is just healing. This one is damage. Okay, let's go with the damage right now. Uh, then we have another attack and a heal. Okay. What item are we starting with? We are starting with purely a mace with seven DPS. Okay. I have come to offer my service to this party of elves. Okay. Here we are. At a Stvalen bit. <laughs> oh, they already talk about Dvalen. It's, they actually just spell it with a double view. I have to Google that. If I. Oh, uh, that's funny. I mean. Okay, so yeah, so I can see the Hobbit from the book in English. Is actually spelled with a W. Okay. And then in Danish, it's actually Dvalin, but only a V. In Norse mythology, Dvalin is a dwarf, dwarf who appears in several old Norse tales and cannings. Okay, so Dvalin is actually an, a dwarf, a deer, and a hobbit. Okay. Well, let me take the quest. And okay. Uh, okay. 
Okay, so you want me to go from there to talk to that guy. Okay. It is interesting that the dwarves arrived when we did, though we came for different purposes. Uh, okay, so you're giving me a reward already. I, I I like that. Stay a moment. My father is great among the wise, and his dreams and foretellings do not often stray from the mark. So you are only reading up half of the text. Fine. These are the words he imparted to me. Blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah, I already sorted. Seek Marifis inside the riddle of Elrond. I assume it's over here. Ooh, a weapon smith. How may I be of service? Wait, I got a new item before. Oh, it has 120 armor. That's pretty cool. What is all this? Oh, I have gift box. One year, two year, three year, four year, five year. Six year. Oh, because okay, so I'm unlocking a lot of items for my horse. This one is actually giving me a horse. Okay, that's pretty cool. I just got my first horse, but it requires that I have riding, so I can't use it yet. This is giving me some gives me a dress. <laughs> okay, that's nice. I have some party cloak now. Let's put it at back five. But I can't really use this for combat. It's but I got the cape. Like the cape is actually looking quite good. Why is the cape? Oh cosmetics. Oh, the cape is there, but it doesn't do anything. That's fine. I look handsome. Uh, what about this one? Free character bound black steel keys. This allow you to unlock a locked traveler adventure loot loot box. Two year gift. Free forms continue. Out of combat run speed. Attack damage. Battle potions. And what is that? Fireworks. Ay, that's so pretty. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's go here. Did I? Do you make of this riddle? What a title. There you go. Level 1. Dwalen of the Blue Mountains. Oh, he also level 1. Oh, that's an insane cave. I was the one who led the party here. But there is a slight flaw in my thinking. Oh, that's my trainer. Train ministerial hey, skills. Well Barter hey, items. Browse hey, the shop. Well Isn't it something about you can slash loot, slash play, play? Huh. Well, I probably have to buy the loot. That's a lot of items you're giving me just at the moment. Oh, a little tuna. Sweet-eyed Melan, will you stay a moment? Uh, learn the skilled matchup bell. Learn the skill major ballad and use it while in combat. Major ballad. Okay. And I have to use it on that guy. Cool. Greetings, Lord. 
Greetings to you. Okay, so I can take a um, dagger, uh, axe, or a mace. Movement speed minus armor or a dagger. I think I'll just take the dagger then. Oh, I got a loot now. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I have a loot. Okay, so yeah, so that's the loot I was talking about. So now I can actually play it. And from one to eight, when I click on my keyboard, it's making another note. Ah, that's that's quite cool. Let me let me play a song for you guys. Okay, okay, okay. Listen to this and guess what I'm playing. As you can see, the, that was basically the the song called "Concerning Hobbits." Uh, you know the do, 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 yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. So when you're playing Bart, you can basically go around and actually play music. that was twin twinkle twinkles uh, you know twin twinkle little star but basically this requires that you actually know your keyboard and you can click on your keys without looking at the keyboard uh, okay you have a true warrior's heart thank you are we going okay so now it actually shows me here do we have auto walk we have auto walk so now it shows me actually that I have to walk up here so it has some kind of a quest helper Okay. So something lurky is going on in here. Refugee of Eohelion. I was here when Ephelion fell. Talk to go about his memory of Skullgrim's death. What do you need? It was across this bridge that the brave Talagan brought the library's walls down upon Skullgrim and himself, those putting an, an end to Skullgrim's lust for immortality. The walls smote them both as they crumbled. Might you spare a moment of your time? Oh, I'm level three now. Okay, so defeat pests as you seek Skorgrim's body. Okay, I guess it's here. Yeah. I mean, the game, the, the graphics in this game is of course a bit outdated, but it's still cool as a, as a Lord of the Rings fan to see these things because that's also how it looks in the movies, for example, you know, with dwarfish things. So it's it's just a pleasure to run a bit, a little bit around here. Oh, we have to go in there. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so this attack deals 11 damage. 12. And that's a close whip. Okay. got confused there I have to find out why should I use this one here okay I see so this one boost healing and capability while damaging the foe boosting tactical damage and harm your foe Okay, so I have actually a damage spell I can use that increases my healing. That's pretty cool, so that's why you're like, okay, so this is like a Discipline Priest-ish. Now I know to so don't use that one. So when I have three stacks from this one, I can use my number three spell that deals a lot of damage. That's pretty cool. Find the side where Scorcrow's body was found. Scorcrow's body got his is gone by the same strange flower. Flower as fine as Edhard's grows as the side of his long grave. Bring the odious red flower to Illidan. Can I walk out here? Oh, that's the ca that's a cave troll, and it got hit by some sun. So it turns into a stone. Mm, bad luck. Okay, so here we are again. Be at your guard for goblin slain not far from these walls. Okay. That is a vile little flower, and one I have not seen before. You say it grew where Scorcrims died and where his body lay in death all the years. Such magic is not common with dwarves. Red Will, will you lend me a trail of blood through the snow? Uh -huh. So now they want me to walk back to the place. And I got some items. Oh, I got some shoes. Okay. I think that's enough intro for the moment. So, I mean, that's pretty much giving us a view on on how the game works, that I have abilities with combos, I have my stance, we have quests, and basically this game just continues with quests. Now, I'll just be doing quests, 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 and just, you know, questing. Uh, so, very interesting. Oh, yeah, they added the expansion model, I remember that. Looks quite cool. Oh. So, let's check out what we else have in the menu down here. We have the system, we have the inventory, crafting, 
I don't have any crafting at the moment. Character. Skills. House. You do not own a house. Oh yeah, you can have a house in this game. I can get a hobby. Title. Biography. Reputation. Wallet. Instances and skirmishes. That's pretty cool. The wall. No kills, no death. The war is against, you, you can also play as uh, the monsters. And basically, that's another part of the game where you can play the monster and you start at the monster world. It's not like when you play the, the, the free people. Uh, as a monster, the only thing you really have to is just get up in level and kill people. Uh, then we have a deed lock. Let's see. Quest lock. Map. Hobbit presence. Open silver for free. Oh, okay then. Get more vitriol. What? What is that? Hunt virtual XP. I see. Uh, field us. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh and then what's that on the right side? Pending loot. Okay, so that's actually loot I forgot to to loot. That's pretty cool. And then of course in this game here. In this game here, they also have an in-game store. Uh, and I know a lot of people is getting frustrated when they see something like this. Uh, but it actually it has a lot of things as you can see here is make your p they have cosmetics we have a sales we have future items new to the lord level boost instantly become level 120 include many extra buffs okay so you can actually be level 120 and Instance access to mounted mounted combat and legendary items, extra virtue, blah, 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 blah. That sounds pretty cool. But 6,000, that's, that's a lot of points. And then we have some kind of armor you can buy. So if you want to look like this. Account, classes and races, expansions characters uh, I think I saw something about well it has a lot of things Oh, nice, you can get a Dwarf Miner Helmet. I see. Well, yeah, you can pretty much go crazy in that shop if you want. What is this? Enhanced Character Stat Tomes. What is that? Increase your agility stat by 50 with this discounted bundle. Evade and parry enemy attacks. Increase your chance to create enemies inflict damage as hunter or burglar. Um, I'm not sure how this is meant. Is is do, do they mean I can actually buy stats in the game? So I can actually get stronger by buying stats? But So if people don't buy this, will they then be weaker than the people who buy it? Okay, so if I go to the bottom here, I can see here that I can buy, uh, let's take for example this one here. Increase your character's agility attribute by up to 40 points. Evade and parry enemy attacks. Increase your chance to create an enemy. So I can, I can buy up to 40 of these. But then it has a bundle up here that it gives 50. Huh. That's a bit weird. And also they have a subscription module. 
but it actually doesn't tell me what I get in the subscription model. And that's probably something I would need to Google. Well, if they don't want to tell me, I don't want to know then. I see. Well, so as you can see, show all stats. Okay, then we got some more stats. So as you can see, this game here is, um, I would say it's old school. It's a bit, uh, graphic wise, it's probably a bit outdated, but at least the game still runs pretty smooth. I have played a lot of other MMOs that are not as old as this, but they, it's like, it's like the engine is not made for new computers. This game here still runs smooth. And actually, I would actually really like to try get up to higher level and actually try a dungeon with someone. Uh, but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do that. But it could be fun. I mean, I mean, you can basically play loot in this game, so that's that's pretty cool. So all this game is fine. Um, you can play free. Download the game on Steam, play it free. But again, remember all the expansions. You have to buy them. And those expansions are not cheap. They actually are a bit pricey, but I mean, they have to they have to f somehow actually get money. Uh, it looks like you actually can buy the expansion in the package here. Now the expansions you need to do on the website. I see. Yeah. Well, so all fine game as a free game and of course if you want to play all the new content in the game and all the bigger things you have to do then of course you have to buy the expansions so what can i say in all great game um but a bit outdated of course so this was just a funny little thing that i wanted to show and maybe some of you already knew about this game, some of you didn't know about this game, and some of you are like really big Lord of the Rings fans, so you're like, mm, I want to give this a try because right now I don't have anything else to play. Honestly, me, I don't have the biggest thing to play right now. I feel like a lot of games is not appealing to me right now. So having other things to try out like this is kind of fun. So yeah, try out the game if you borrow it, else don't. So again, thanks for watching everyone, and... Uh, Leave out a comment and let me know have you tried this game in before or are you actually planning to try it now thanks for watching everyone and have a really nice day